there. We're going to start with the lesson B of unit six. Can you read the title, please, Diana? Okay, lesson B, presenting the future. Presenting the future, perfect. What do you see on the screen? Um, a woman. A woman showing a presentation. A woman, woman point, point, point. Pointing to the screen. Yeah. What is the presentation about? Okay. What is the presentation Maybe about? Maybe presenting the future. The future, presenting the future. Maybe Perfect. the topic. Yes, what do you see on the screen? Um, a drone. A drone, yeah, what else? What is this? Virtual reality, yes? And this? A uh, watch. A smart watch. What new technologies are scientists coming up with? Liliana? Uh, all the technologies that appear in the screen. Yes, uh, something else that you might know about? What about you, Diana? What other new technologies? I, I can hear you, teacher. I can hear you. You can't can hear me? Hear you. Smartphones, more modern. Um, can you hear me now? More, more modern uh, medias of communication or transportation. Yes. Can you hear me there? Yes. Very good. Yes. Are you interested in any in particular? Mm, no, I am not. Yes. Yeah, which one, Diana? Uh, Maybe I watch videos about the new technologies that Japan have, like Japan. in this pandemic. Yes. They don't pay with money. They no? can, no. they can, but they don't. They pay with the cell phone. Wow. It's interesting. Just like the last class, right? Lesson yes. eight. Yes, just like that. What about you, Eduardo? Are you interested I, in I sure. technology? Hello, mister. Um, yeah, sure. Which one? In, in technology and in the brain. In the brain? But what, what would that do? What new technology and, and is that? And how the brain works. But what new technology? Oh, in general. Yeah, no, technology. What new technology? Oh, in the electric cars, yeah. Electric cars, very good. Now, what do you see in, on the screen? Um, kids playing basketball. Yes, what else? Um, kids doing activities. Yes, is that it? Um, okay, so what daily things could be better with technology? Study. Studying, but what would Homework. be better? But what would be better? Uh, 
for example, what would be easier to study? How? With a computer, with the internet. But is that new technology? No, that already exists. Teacher. Yes, mister. Actually, there is a new technology. Uh, well, in the future, we'll be able to all the world, I think, but it's a uh, chip. It name is Neuralink and it it will be in your brain. Oh my so, gosh. Yeah, there will there will be a new way to communicate with the others without speaking. No way. Yeah. <laughs> so you can copy in the exam without talking and I uh, think people won't see it. Yeah, that's a uh -huh. good idea. Uh, Diana and Eduardo automatically, yeah, I know. <laughs> Very good. All right. Now we're going to listen to a presentation. Again, no books. Please close your books. Okay. All you want, all I want you to do is listen. Only listen and tell me what's the general topic of the presentation. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Hello, everybody. I'm just waiting for the projector. It won't connect. Oh, it must be warm enough. It shouldn't take long. There. Okay. Can you all see the screen? Let's see. I could make it a little bigger. Would somebody turn the lights off, please? Thanks. Um, there should be a handout going around, too. All right. Let's get started. Two. So today I want to look at the future of clothing. In particular, I'll be talking about the impact that technology will have on the clothes we wear. I'll allow time for questions and comments at the end. So I'd like to begin by thinking about the question, what will our clothes be able to do in the future? For example, we already have jackets that light up in the dark for road safety. Three. As you'll see on the slide, there are lots of other possibilities too, such as clothes that use body energy to recharge cell phones and computers, and clothes that will be able to detect health problems. So let's move on and look at ideas like these in more detail. Four. So as you can see, technology could have an impact on our lives in interesting ways, not least with self-cleaning fabrics. Anyway, that's all I have time for, so I'd better stop there. Um, we should have time for one or two questions. Does anyone have any questions or comments? Five. If you're interested in reading more, you might want to check out some of the articles that are listed on the handout. I'll just conclude by saying thank you for listening, and now I'll turn it over to John, who's going to talk about clothes that heat or cool on demand. Okay, guys, did you listen to the audio okay? Yes. Right. What's the general topic about? Uh, I think about clothes. Oops. Clothes, what do you Clothes, uh, about reading. About what? About greed. Greed? Yes. What is greed? Read. Like read a book. Read. Ah, okay. Read. Uh, it's talking about technology in a closed future. Who knows? What can the new jackets do? Um, Hello. What will new clothing do? He 
is she the last presenter? Check, listen again, check. Hello, everybody. I'm just waiting for the projector. It won't connect. We'll be warming up. It shouldn't take long. There. Okay. Can you all see the screen? Let's see. I could make it a little bigger. Would somebody turn the lights off, please? Thanks. Um, there should be a handout going around, too. All right. Let's get started. Two. So today I want to look at the future of clothing. In particular, I'll be talking about the impact that technology will have on the clothes we wear. I'll allow time for questions and comments at the end. So I'd like to begin by thinking about the question, what will our clothes be able to do in the future? For example, we already have jackets that light up in the dark for road safety. Three. As you'll see on the slide, there are lots of other possibilities, too, such as clothes that use body energy to recharge cell phones and computers, and clothes that will be able to detect health problems. So let's move on and look at ideas like these in more detail. Four. So as you can see, technology could have an impact on our lives in interesting ways, not least with self-cleaning fabrics. Anyway, that's all I have time for. So I'd better stop there. Um, we should have time for one or two questions. Does anyone have any questions or comments? Five. If you're interested in reading more, you might want to check out some of the articles that are listed on the handout. I'll just conclude by saying thank you for listening. And now I'll turn it over to John, who's going to talk about clothes that heat or cool on demand. Hello, everybody. I'm just waiting for the projector. It won't connect. Teacher, I can hear you. No. No. I can hear you either. No, teacher. Can you hear me there? Yes. yes. Oh. Hello? Yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you very well. I can yes. hear you. Yes. I can hear you well. Okay. Now, what can new jackets do? Um, light up. What? Light up. Uh, open light up. the door. Open the door? The new jackets? <laughs> what about... Yeah, I, what? I heard that... What will new clothing do? Nothing? Hello, everyone. What about, is she the last presenter? No. No, all right, let's check out. You can open your books. Hello, everybody. I'm- Open your books so you can check your- Can you, can you hear me, teacher? Yes. Oh, okay. You can open your books and check your answers. Hello, everybody. I'm just waiting for the projector. It won't connect. Oh, it must be warming up. It shouldn't take long. There. OK. Can you all see the screen? Let's see. I could make it a little bigger. Would somebody turn the lights off, please? Thanks. 
Um, there should be a handout going around, too. All right, let's get started. Two. So today I want to look at the future of clothing. In particular, I'll be talking about the impact that technology will have on the clothes we wear. I'll allow time for questions and comments at the end. So I'd like to begin by thinking about the question, what will our clothes be able to do in the future? For example, we already have jackets that light up in the dark for road safety. Three. As you'll see on the slide, there are lots of other possibilities too, such as clothes that use body energy to recharge cell phones and computers, and clothes that will be able to detect health problems. So let's move on and look at ideas like these in more detail. Four. So as you can see, technology could have an impact on our lives in interesting ways, not least with self-cleaning fabrics. Anyway, that's all I have time for, so I'd better stop there. Um, we should have time for one or two questions. Does anyone have any questions or comments? Five. If you're interested in reading more, you might want to check out some of the articles that are listed on the handout. I'll just conclude by saying thank you for listening, and now I'll turn it over to John, who's going to talk about clothes that heat or cool on demand. Very good. So let's begin with the questions. What is the first question? What's the general topic of the presentation? Um, the future of clothing. What can new jackets do? Jackets that light up in the dark for what something. Light up in the dark. Very good. Next question. What will but new clothing I, do? I hear. Such as clothes that use body energy to recharge cell phones and computers, and clothes that will be able to detect health problems. Very good, very good. There you go. So use the energy, use body energy to recharge cell phones and computers. And clothes that will be able to detect health problems. But very good. The last question Is she the last presenter? No, she isn't. No, she isn't, because right? Well, how do you know? It's turned uh, because it's the turn of John. Yes, it's John's turn. Very good, guys. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? What do you think of the presentation? Is it interesting? Yes, it is. Why? Yes, it is. Why, Lucelena? Teacher, uh, I can hear you very well. I in a moment that I can, I can hear you. Uh, what about the rest? Is anybody having trouble uh, hearing me? No. No, you hear me okay? Yeah. Yes. Okay, what about you, Leslie? Yes. Liliana, yes? yes. Yeah. I Liliana? can hear you. You can hear me okay? Lucelena, are you having trouble yes, with your internet? Yes, in this moment. Luz, 
Luz Elena. Yes, teacher. Are you having trouble with your internet? I think I listen in moments and in speaks. Uh, I can hear any. Only me or anything? Anything. Anything. It's possible there is a signal. Let's hope it, it gets better uh, real soon. All right, next question, guys. Cover the presentation and answer the questions. How much can you remember? So go ahead and close the books, please. Close your books. She was waiting for the projector teacher. Uh, are, did you close your books? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right, Liliana and yes, Lucelena, please stay in the session. Don't go. Diana, Eduardo, and Leslie, go to room number one with the clo books closed. Ask and answer the questions, please. Yes, Liliana. What does the speaker do before she starts her, her presentation? Okay, I think um, <clears throat> they prepare all the, all, all the things that they needed for the class or, or for the uh, presentation. The, the slide is okay. on the WhatsApp group. You can open it on the on your WhatsApp and you can share your screen so you can ask and answer the questions. Okay. Okay. Okay, the, the second one, what topics does she specific specifically talk about? Uh about she she is talking about the future clothes close the future clothes uh -huh. uh, they explain uh -huh. they explain uh how how is how is going to be the the clothes in the future what what about you what do you think mm, i think um she talks about <clears throat> the future cloud too. And then um, I, I heard something about uh, technology. Uh, Dajana, I think, I, I think she, she underlined the um, cell Selena. phones and something. Selena. What? Can you share your screen? Ah, uh, yes. Share your screen, open the WhatsApp and share the, the slide. Hi, Mari Carmen. Hello, teacher, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I don't know. Yeah, continue, continue. There you go, all the way to the end. Okay, the three question, Lucelena. In what ways does she suggest chlorine might okay. be different in the future? Okay. Yes. All right, one more second. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mari Carmen, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Mari Carmen. You can open your book. Liliana and Lucelena, 
won't open the book because we already already read it but you haven't read it so you can open your book and you can ask and answer the questions with Liliana and Lucelena okay okay teacher so it's page 64 right I think so mm -hmm. yeah present uh, in the future yes present in the future thank you continue please mm -hmm. Okay, uh, we are talking about the, the number three. In what ways does the does she suggest clotting might be different in the future? I, I remember that uh, clothes uh, light in the dark and the, the, the clothes uh we'll we'll be able to share the cell phones and computers with the body with the energy body oh uh, i i <clears throat> i remember um diana I think uh um say something about um, the technology in the cloud or something. The technology and, and in this, for example, in my blouse can can be or can put a, um, a camera or or something that that they <clears throat> note uh, if I if I am I I'm sick or something. Oh yeah, the clothes. Uh huh. The clothes. Um, detect will detect I, I, the disease. I don't know what 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 mm, the 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 article say, but um um. I think it's something like that. How about you, Mari Carmen? You you watch the the text. Yeah, uh, while you were talking, I <clears throat> I was reading as fast as possible. So um, about number three, I consider that she mentions about uh, <clears throat> the future because she mentions that we already have jackets to light off in the dark for road safety. So I consider it's based mm. on that part. And also um, clothes that use body energy to recharge cell phones and computers. It's a good interesting uh -huh. one. And clothes that will be able to detect health problems. <clears throat> uh -huh. And so okay. that's something that I could uh, I could rescue about it. <laughs> Sorry, because I was so late. Uh, Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. No. Okay. So the number four, why does the speaker have to and her presentation. Because it's the time uh, option to, to give his presentation. Maybe. Mm, it says it's about number four, but I, I don't think. remember. Mm. I can find information, right? Because she says, so as you can see, technology could have an impact on our lives in interesting ways, not least with soft cleaning fabrics. Anyway, that's all I have time for. So I better stop here. Um, we should have time for one or two questions. Does anyone, <clears throat> sorry, does anyone have any questions or comments? But I cannot find the context why she needs to stop. I only, I only remember that uh, um, John uh, was was going to start his presentation. Let's check your answers, guys. What does the speaker do before she starts the presentation? 
Waiting. I think uh, the, they prepare all all the the things that they needed for the class or for the presentation. Yes. Okay. So what she says? She, was, she says hello. Uh, she waiting says hello. for the project projector. Yes. She waited for the projector. Very good. Is there something else? There should be a handout going around. So she gave some pieces of paper to the people before the presentation, correct? Okay. Okay. Number two, what topic does she specifically talk about? The clouds, the, the future, future of, of clouds. Cloud. The future of clothing. Yeah, clouds. there you go. Next, in what ways does she suggest clothing might be different? Um, I think, uh, will, uh, oh, you, Liliana. Uh, thank you. Uh, clothes will be able to to detect um, problems, healthy problems. Health problems, yes. It's one. Yeah. Okay, next. Why does the speaker have to end her presentation? We don't have time. There you go. We don't have time. That's all I have time for. Correct. Is the turn of John? Yes, because it's John's turn. There. Thank you very much, guys. Do you have any questions? No. Oh, okay. Who exited? Ismael. Okay. Very good. Now, find expressions that the speaker uses in her presentation to do these things. Complete the chart and compare with a partner. Okay, what expression, expressions that the speaker uses to start the presentation? What is expression? Let's get started. Let's get started. Very good. Continue with the list. Let's have only two minutes for this. Let's see how, much, uh, how many can you find? Okay.
Okay, guys, time's up. Do, how many do you have? Two, three, or four? I have two. You have two? Okay. No, sir. I think I, I have four. You have four? Who has more? All right. Let's go in sessions. Finish. And in sessions, compare your answers, please. Okay. There, please go, let's go. Hi right, guys, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, let's begin. What do you have for number one? Let's get to start. Question is, let's get started. Very good. What about number two? Introduce the topic. I'll be talking about. Very good. I'll be talking about. Perfect. What about number three? Check that everyone can see or hear. Can you all see the screen? Very good. Next, refer to a slide, a handout, or question. There should be a handout going around. What else? I allow time for questions and comments at the end. As you will see on the slide, and does anyone have any questions or comments? Now, uh, go to a new topic or person. Let's move on. Let's move on. I'll turn it over to John. John, perfect. And the presentation. I just conclude by saying. I better stop. And anyways. That's all I have time for. There you go. Now we have one missing. What is this? I want to look at. And I like to Here's begin the topic. by. What? What did you say, Diana? And I like to begin by. Okay, so we have I like to look at. What is that? What are, what is that? End the presentation. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. What expressions are they? The last two. I want to look at and I'd like to begin by. The what first one I want to look at, introduce the topic. And also I like to begin by to introduce the topic. Introduce the topic. There you go. Is that what you have, guys? Yes. Perfect. That's great. Now, homework will be page one, uh, 71, vocabulary notebook. Okay. That will be homework.
Okay, everybody? Yes, teacher. Perfect, let's go for the next one. Grammar, expectations, necessity, requests, etc. How does the speaker express the ideas below? Underline the sentences in the presentation and then read the grammar chart. So first I have, number one, I believe there's a handout going around. Guys, what's a handout? Like a slide? A flyer, a pamphlet. Ah, okay. A handout, okay? In the number two, the projector is unable to connect. What's the projector? The one we use as <laughs> The projector, yes. And the last one is number three. Can somebody turn the lights off? Of course, let's turn on, turn off the lights, okay? It's right here. All right, now you have to find these expressions in the article and check how does the speaker express the ideas. So let's check the article. Number one, I believe there is a handout going around. Does she say it like that or does she say it differently? She says um, there should be a handout going around. Yes, there should be a handout going around. Perfect. What about number two? The projector is unable to connect. It won't connect. Oh, it must be warming up. Okay. Basically, let's do from the beginning. Okay. It won't connect. That's it, right? The warming up is something else. Mm -hmm. And the next one. Can somebody turn the lights off? Where is that? Would somebody turn the lights off, please? It's... Would somebody uh -huh, turn the lights off, please? I was looking for the red letters. Would somebody turn the lights off, please? Now let's write them all down, please. What's number one? Number there two. should be a hangout going about. Number three, yes. Let's see, Mari Carmen, can you write number one? Liliana, yes. can you write number two? And Diana, can you write number three, please? Thank you, Mari Carmen. Thank you, Diana. I think Lilian is having trouble. Let me see. Rosalina, can you write number two, please? There, thank yes. you, Lilian. Oh. Yeah, she got it. There, so number one, there should be a handout going around. Perfect. Number two, I am just waiting for the projector. It won't connect. Okay, it won't, right? And would somebody turn the lights off, please? Perfect, guys. That's what we're doing. So what are we checking at? What we're looking at, in general, is the modal verbs. Modal verbs can express a range of meanings. A range. What is a range? A variety. 
many different meanings. And here are only some, only some meanings. Okay, let me see. Rosalina, can you read the meanings, please? Mm -hmm. Me? Yeah. Okay. Expectations. Uh, guess. Guesses. Guesses. Necess necessity. 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 Suggestions or advice. Ability. Uh, failure to operate. Failure. Fail. Failure. Failure to operate. Um, request. Offers and permission. We have many different examples. Now let me see. Leslie, can you help me with the first one, please? There should out be out to. Out to. There should out to be a handle. Going around. Thank you. The projector must be warming up. It might could might be broken. Thank you. Diana. I should how to have to need to better to stop. Uh, a better, better stop. Uh, Liliana? You might want to check out the articles on the handout. Uh, Carmen, please. I'll be ready. Um, can you all see the screen? Well. Selena? Uh, the project the projector won't connect to my laptop. Diana? No, Diana. Could would can someone turn the light off, please? Body. Leslie? I'll make the screen bigger. I can go turn it up. Eduardo, please. No, Eduardo. All right, guys. What I want you to look at is please close your books. Close your books for a moment. Are your books closed? Yes. Very nice. So, the first example I have, I hope you have your books closed. Okay, just close your books. The first example, there should or there ought to be a handout going around. What you need, what we need to do when we check these expressions is we need to check what is that? Is that an expectation, a guess, a necessity, a suggestion, advice, ability? What is that? What do you think is that? You can read it and you can guess. What is that? Is it a permission? Something you expect to happen? Yes, I, I think it is an expectation. It's an expectation. There. Okay. That's what you think it should be happening, right? Expectations. There. Other examples. Another expectation. According to the to the picture, okay? Ourselves should or ought to increase in the next few months. It's an expectation. Something you think, you imagine, you want to happen soon in the future, okay? Let's see another 
direction. Projector must be warming up. It might could may be broken. Once again, let's read the lines, the expressions, the message, and check what type of sentence is this. An explanation, I guess, necessity, suggestion, ability, failure, request, offer, or permission. What do you think it is? I first I would say it is a guess, but um, based on the picture, I can see it's failure. Failure. Failure to operate. Mm -hmm. uh, because it says it might could maybe broken. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. But it when it's a failure to operate, it's different. And we'll check that in a second. Wow. Okay. So what do we have in the two of them? In a general sense, like opening your minds, your, your ideas, they are okay. guessing. Uh, okay. Must be warming up. It might, could, maybe broken. But let's take a look at this alone. That is a guess, but can it be something else? Mm, that you are, you are sure about it. You're sure. So uh -huh, you are sure. Aha. Uh -huh. I mean, okay, if you're sure, it's not a guess. What is it when you're sure? Mm. Ah, okay. funny. It's an expectation. So we use must when you are sure and when you're not sure. Uh, okay. Yes. When when you are sure, 100% uh -huh. sure is an expectation. But when you uh -huh, hope exactly is a problem. When you hope is the only thing happening. When you expect it's the only possibility, but you're you, you don't know. Then, then it's a guess. Okay. Okay. And the other part, it might, could, maybe broken. Is that an expectation? No, that's a guess. That's only it might a be guess. Broken. Yes. It could right. be broken. It may be broken. Uh huh. It's only a guess. All of them uh, um, belong to the same, uh, let's say, percentage of just like the other time that you say 100% sure. So let's say could. Let's mm -hmm. have a good uh, 70%. Uh -huh. 80, 80, 80, 60, 70, 9, Okay, give me a second, give me a second. I'm just, it was my 10 to 30%. Good, it's for 70 to 80 in May 56. Okay, thank you, teacher. Very well, now, another example of expectations or guesses. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like that, but I'm gonna give you the next example. The projector should, must turn on. What is that, an expectation or a guess? An expectation? What about you are not 100% sure, but you wish it could happen? Then it's a guess. Okay. In other words, expectations are 100% sure, Guesses is when you are not sure. Is that better? Okay. okay. Another another sentence. Read. The projector should must turn on. It could may might be unplugged. What is that? An expectation or a guess? Liliana and Lucelena, what do you think it is? An expectation. Uh, 
I think I, I think it's an, an expectation, no? It's an expectation. You expect it to be unplugged? Um, yes. No. No, unplugged is disconnected. No, it's a guess. It's a guess. Yes. It's something you imagine it's a possible that, situation. Yeah. Correct? Yes. Okay. What about this example? It's to be connected. Connect. What is that? that guesses because uh, you you are are not sure. Okay. No necessity. The necessity, yes, okay. Liliana. It's not an expectation. It's not a guess. It's a necessity. Oh. Yes, Selena. Yes. Yes. Okay. What about Eduardo, Leslie, and Diana? What do you think? Let's go for the next example. I have no more time. I should, ought to, have to, need to, better stop. What type of expression is this? Let's like, look at the chart again. We have expectation, guesses, necessity, suggestions, advice, ability. Advice. Advice. When you have to read, read the whole thing. Let me put up for you. I have no more time. I should, ought to, have to, need to, and better stop. Narisa, an advice? I should. Advice? When, it's, when you say I should, it's an advice? I suggestion. should. It's a suggestion. When we say I have to, it's something that you are you must do. It's ah. a rule that it's outside you. You have to do it on your own. Have to, need to, and better. What mm -hmm. is? It? What are they? That's an obligation. And out of the chart, expectation, guesses, necessity, suggestions, ability, failure, request, and everything. Not that. Okay. That's a suggestion for yourself. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that nice you have try, to. <laughs> but no. no. Nobody? No. I need it. Okay. Yes. But as you said it, right? Should and ought to usually goes with a suggestion, right? Oh, yeah. Yes, usually, but not with I. I if you say I, that. I should and I ought to. Then is the nice way to say I have to. Ah, uh, okay. Give me a second just to write it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if we use I should and I also, it's just they are expressing necessity, but this is um. Yes. This is not oh, as, oh. as strong as saying I have to. Exactly, it's not as a ah, okay. but it has the same intensity. Okay. I should. I don't have time. Press honesty. Mm -hmm. Ready for the picture? No, not yet, not yet. Okay, you have to. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. So another example with necessity. I can hear my partners very well, but, but I can hear you. What about now? Can you hear me now? I can hear you. Is my internet or your internet? No. If, if you can hear your classmates, but you can't hear me, then it's my internet. Can uh, you hear me? 
Yeah, I, I can hear you. Better. Okay, very, very good. Um, that's why I have this thing close to my mouth. So anyways, let's read this example again. Thank you, sir. Again, it's the same story, okay? The, the story is, I have no more time. I should, ought to, have to, need to, it better stop. On the same mm -hmm. sense, okay? It's the same presentation, the same people, the same necessity uh, level expression. We should, ought to, have to, need to, with better, continue tomorrow. It's a necessity, okay? Okay. Okay. okay, perfect. Now, the next example. Might you want might to. want to check out the articles on the handout. What is this? Can you tell me what is that? Without opening the books, no books. Uh, a suggestion. A suggestion. A suggestion. Suggestion or advice. advice. Perfect. Very good. Another example. Another mm -hmm. example. You might want to. You should. You ought to. Study the handout in your free time and think about it, right? It's on the same sense, the same context, the same story. So you might want to check out the articles. You might want to, you should, you ought to study the handout in your free time and think about it. Yes, guys? Uh, suggestion and advice to suggestion suggestions suggestion. yeah yes yeah, suggestion very good next ability i'm not going to stop on ability do you remember what is the ability expression can can mm -hmm. or be able to <laughs> Good, oh, good or be able to yes failure i'm not going to uh, stop let's see do i have one for failure can could would can somebody turn the lights off please yes what is this ability ability are you sure no it's um just to make an offer is it an just offer a petition, a request. Very good. It's a request with can, would, and can. Why? Because if somebody is asking, it's a question, asking somebody different to do something. It's a request. Another example? Could, would, can anybody help me, please? That's a request, okay? The next one, I think is the last one I have. I'll make the screen bigger. I can or could turn it up. What is this? Is this ability? Yeah, it's ability. Yeah, check the, the chart and tell me, what is that? Expectation, guess, necessity, suggestion, ability, failure, request, offers, or permission? Offer. Permission. Offers. Very good, Diana. Mm -hmm. Offers. It's offering to make the screen bigger. Uh, it's okay. offering to turn the volume up. Yes. So this is expressing that you can and you want to do something for somebody else. Another example. I will, can, could make another presentation. Okay. This is another offer. Another offer, a different one. My teammate will, can, could send you more information. This is you want or can do something for somebody else. Offer is the other way of the request. Any questions? Yeah. 
No. Okay. Now, may, could, can. I ask a question. Yes, you may or can. May is more formal. But it's the same as can or could. Now, what is this? Request. I mean, uh, no. no. Petition. Request. Petition. No. Permission. Permission. There you go. Okay. Now, in your books, you have below the grammar chart, the exercise. Circle the best model verbs to complete the extracts from a presentation. Then listen and check. Let's do the first one all together. Okay, can or would you hear me at the back? Hmm. Can, can, can or would, me? what is the correct expression? Can or would? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? At the back. Can, right? In yeah. that word. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Continue with all of them, please. Let's see how many you can do in two minutes. And at the end of two minutes, we'll check some answers, okay? Okay.
How are you doing, guys? Are you finished? Yes, teacher, I'm done. All right, perfect. Uh, let's go in session so you guys can compare your answers for only a couple of minutes. Mm. Okay, so good. Let's get started. Uh, I right. wrote you should or have. Wait, wait let's go ah. in, in sessions. Ah, okay, thank you. Yeah, let's go in sessions. Perfect. Let's go, guys. Please, only for two minutes, okay? Go ahead. Let's go in teams for only two minutes. Off. Could you help me with it, please? Oh, it's not plugged in. Sorry. Okay. So, can you see that clearly? Two. So, I'm sure you must be wondering how clothes can have health benefits in the future. It might be useful to play you something I heard on the radio. It's about hats that will turn hard when something hits them so they act like a helmet. So, I need to turn on the sound. Um, that must be the volume here. Oh, I'd better turn it up. That's better. You ought to be able to hear at the back. Three. So, let's move on. There are lots of fun possibilities, too. Simon, may I ask you to stand up, please? Thank you. Oh, you might want to turn around and face everyone. And would you show everyone your T-shirt? So, in the future, imagine T-shirts like this, but with words or images that change color or react to music. Well, that's all I have time for. I have to stop now. Does anyone have any questions or comments? Very good, guys. Except one. In number three, thank you. Oh, you might want to turn around, please, everyone. And what oh, I was reading? No, Simon. Yeah, would I ask? May. Yes, may. Not good. I ask. may. May I ask you to stand up, please? Perfect. There you go. Those are the correct answers, guys. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? No. No, teacher. Thank you. Easy, no right? yet. All right. Now, homework will be prepare and give a short presentation on one of the topics below. Use six of the expressions you learn from page 64 and share the best ideas with the class. Okay, so the presentation will be about the future of clothing or shopping or money or any other idea you may have. Okay? okay. All yes, right, okay. the presentations will be uh, shown tomorrow and uh, if we are finished for today. Does anybody have any questions so far? No. no? Remember that page 71 is also homework. Mm -hmm. The notebook, okay? Both uh, exercises. A, B, I'm sorry, C. And this is on your own. That will be on if you want. But this ones, yes, we need to uh, check. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. so, if you don't have any questions, thank you so much. Thank have you, a teacher. great day. See I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. See you guys. Bye bye. 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 See everyone. Bye everyone. Thank you.